Phillies hosting the Braves, and the Braves are minus 150 on the money line. The Phillies are plus 125 over under eight and a half runs. The Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. And the Phillies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Strider pitched once against the Phillies this year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 11 to four, and he struck out nine. The Braves are 8-2 and two as a team in Strider's last 10 starts. They've won his last four starts. He's averaging 5 and 2 thirds innings pitched and 9.1 strikeouts per game in those games. This dude just pretty much is a strikeout machine, and that's an average over his last 10 games. Now, for Suarez, he pitched quite a bit against the Braves last year. Division rivals, plenty of nostalgia and plenty of information. Four and a third, five runs, five earned. They lost that game eight to four in Atlanta. He struck out four, six and two thirds, four runs, four earned. They lost that game four to one. That was in Philly. He struck out seven, five innings, three runs, none of which were earned. They won that game six to four. He struck out four batters, six innings, one run, one earned. They lost that game seven to two in Atlanta. He struck out four, six shutout innings. They won that game one nothing. That was in Philly. He struck out four. Three and a third, one run, one earn. They won that game seven to six, and he struck out five. So four seems to be the magic number with Suarez when he faces the Braves. Four games that he pitched out of six, he only struck out four batters. The Phillies are five and two in his last seven starts. They've won his last three starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and five strikeouts per game in those seven games. So this should be a pitcher's duel. We shall see. Head-to-head, head, the home team is 5-5. Five five. These teams are 5-5 five five against each other in their last 10. The underdog is 6-4 on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. The over is 7-2-1 in their last 10. The over 8.5 runs is 8-2, and, and there have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. Seemingly, when Strider pitches, he's either striking people out or he's giving up hits. Now, I'm not saying that that's you know, illogical to think that this game is going to go over, but... Keep that in mind. As of right now, and this is the overnight odds, so please do with this information what you will. The wind is blowing from right field to left field across the outfield at 10 miles an hour, but we're more than 24 hours away or maybe like 20 hours away from first pitch, so the wind can very likely change by then. Now, head-to-head, -head, the last game that they played against each other or the last series that they played against each other was a four-game set in Atlanta. And they split. The Braves won the first game 8-5. The Phillies won the next one 6-4. The Phillies won the next one 2-1. And then the Braves won that one 11-4. And that was the game that Strider pitched in. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Braves are on fire. They're on a six-game winning streak and they are 8-2 in their last 10. The over is hitting their last two games. The over is 7-3 in their last 10 just in general. 11 runs, 9 runs, 12 runs, and 20 runs. 8 runs in a win, 8 runs in a win, 10 runs in a win, 14 runs in a win. I understand that this is happening against the Rockies and they were home when they did this. So you can't use the altitude as an excuse. For the Phillies, they are just as hot. They are on a six-game winning streak, and they, too, are 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. However, the under has hit in their last three games, and the under is 5-2-3 and three in their last 10 games. So five games went under, two games went over, and three games pushed. Nine runs, seven runs, five runs, and five runs. Five runs and a win, six runs and a win, and back-to-back -back games where they scored three runs and one. I do like the fact that this is probably going to be, although for all intents and purposes, everyone thinks this is going to be an under game. This is not going to be an under game, especially with Strider on the mound. He may strike out a bunch of people, but I don't know. I'm going to take the Braves with the money line. I'm going to take the Braves laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.